okay it's a problem network problem sometimes that's why it's happening it happens sometimes it's okay yes okay. hi how are you yeah i'm good and thank you for asking ma'am and how about you i'm doing good thank you for asking okay okay so ma'am uh, actually i saw your uh, I, i saw your video on youtube uh, two and three videos not at too much because nowadays i'm not getting a uh, you know free time to watch in his content um, uh, you already and you also message me you know 12 and maybe 10 and 20 days ago but i i i unable to connect uh, because of some reason but yeah, today i got free time uh, yeah and uh, today i got free time and i will scroll uh, i will scrolling youtube then i saw your new video then i click on your video and uh, and i follow your uh, sky application then i come your id so i got finally i got chance to connect to you okay. yeah because i also was waiting for connecting with you but you told me like your exam is going on so i was yes, waiting and you will take your exam you will connect with me yes from at that time uh, my exams was going and after that uh, i uh, i was starting suffering uh, you know some problems like a uh, uh, fever and cold so now i am okay little bit okay so how was your exam uh, it was it was good i can say whatever i prepared for exam so it was good i mean, i can't say it was a really nice and so it was good yeah no half half it was Okay, so you were uh, taking exam for university or school or any which kind of exam you were taking? It's university, Delhi University. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, so you belongs from Delhi? No, no. Actually, uh, if I talk about my native place, so that is Bihar. I am here just to study purpose. Right now, I am in Delhi just for study purpose. Yes, okay, so how long you are living in Delhi? Uh, in Delhi, I have been living. Uh, For a seven and eight month, uh, eight years. Okay, seven so how? Eight did, years, yeah. Okay, so how did you find Delhi? Are you feeling well there? How how are you feeling there? Oh, uh, no, right now I'm not. I, if I take out my uh, interest, so I'm not uh, feeling good in Delhi right now because I love nature and I love peaceness. But in Delhi, you can't find uh, that kind of movement. Uh, so yeah. i'm not feeling good but uh, delhi is uh, uh, good for you know uh, resources and vehicles you no know, you and for a good study yeah that's why i am living in delhi right now but yeah uh, as as soon as possible i will left delhi i will go you know in, in i will go in a other part in india okay so have you any plan like which part you want to go after delhi uh actually uh, ma'am uh, after march uh, after march i will start uh, my new journey that will traveling means i will start traveling means i will start traveling blog and be, you know and i will upload on youtube so first maybe i select nagaland i will go for visit nagaland it is a state you no know, in uh, india it is part of india so i will go there and i will spend some time like a, uh, some days like a 15 and 10 days then i come back delhi then uh, again i will make plan and I, i will go another state like that and what about bihar yeah bihar i also love my bihar because this is uh, that is my uh, native place and i was born there so i never uh, i i never forget that, that place because it's uh, you know connecting with my old feelings and happiness so yeah i will also go bihar for visit yeah you should go and you should make your first blog apart uh, on your that native place yeah of course i i should uh, maybe but uh, i already made the plan for uh, nagaland so it's uh, if i will be changed so it will little bit uh, difficult for me but yeah definitely i will go also bihar because you know uh, it's a uh, you know i match uh, you know my bonding is connected too much with what we have with bihar with bihar because uh, if i whenever i uh, go bihar go to bihar so at that time i feel good because uh, my uh, family members they live they 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 live you know they are uh, they, there so that is good for a uh, good moment if i will go there yeah we feel very good whenever we go our native place because our family member relatives are living there and you are yes. living in delhi alone so it's very difficult to feel comfortable there i yes. can understand
So are you preparing? Uh, yes, okay, ma'am. You can you continue, please. Sorry for this. No, no. Actually, just uh, actually, I don't know about you. You know, uh, so I just I would like to know about little bit of yourself. Okay, so my name is Reena and I'm from Rajasthan. I completed my qualification in Bachelor of Arts and nowadays I'm running my YouTube channel named called uh, English with Sanki. That's all about me. And if I talk about my hobbies, so I like to cooking and in, if I'm getting more free time, then I like to read books in English. It's all about me. Yeah, that is Good. great. Cool. Because I know about you, but my viewers don't know about you. So tell me about yourself. Yeah, of course. So, uh, yeah, as you know, my name is Anjan, and I am talking to you Delhi. Basically, I belong to Bihar. I am here to just study purpose. And if I talk about my education profile, so I have done my schooling, and uh, now I am pursuing bachelor in history. And this is my first year. And apart from that, so I love to do yoga, meditation, and exercise. Yeah, this is about me and my experience. Thank you so much. Okay. So, how long have you been learning this language? Yeah, if I talk about language, so I have been learning English for uh, four, five, and six months. Okay, so which kind of methods you are following to learn this language? Uh, you are actually, doing? yes, actually, I'm not uh, uh, follow any kind of a different means unique uh, method to uh, improve my uh, English. Just I also do simple things like uh, reading books and uh, try. I try to watch this content and apa. Uh, and whenever I get a free time, so I try to, you know, read novels book. And uh, nowadays I'm also go to coaching center for it. It's all about English speaking, how to speak without fear, you know. Yeah, that kind of thing I'm doing. And uh, I also running a YouTube channel. As you know, I'm uploading uh, videos on YouTube whenever I get video. Yeah, I know about that. So you are taking offline classes also for speaking. So yes, how are you feeling there? Is it good to take offline classes for speaking practice or we can learn from by ourselves? Yeah, actually, if I talk about my coaching center, so that is that is good for me because uh, uh, first of all, it is a free of course uh, uh, session means it is a one year course. It is one year course and it it provide you in a free. And there is environment because I go to environment there. I get environment there. You know, there is a in my session, uh, there is a 20 people, 20 students. And so, at you know, front of 20 students, if you will speak in, so you will, you know, first day you will get, you will feel a little bit hesitation and uh, under the confidence, shyness. But you know, when it when uh, it become your habit to speak in a daily basis, so it will help to, it's help to, you know, enhance your abilities, your confidence so i can say that is good for me because i am uh, learning english and i i am learning how to you know present uh, ourselves front of the people yeah. you know so that is good for me okay so when you started that coaching uh, actually uh, i i i started 5 and 6 months ago okay so you have uh, 5 month also and yes. is it provided by government no, it is not. Yeah, it is not. No, no, it is not provide provide by government. Government. Yeah, it is a, a NGO. It is private NGO. I can say uh, it's provided by Deepak Chopra. He is uh, he is a businessman. Uh, he, uh, he used to live in a uh, USA and he provide that uh, environment in India in rural area. People can people can uh, like a student can go there and they can learn. You know some some some. You know, some people, uh, some student has uh, has not too much money to pay. You know, yeah. any institute, uh, the institute will be charged. You know, too much, uh, like twenty thousand, ten thousand, like that for one year course. So that's why they provide free of cost. Yeah, that's a great thing. They are providing such kind of classes, so people should go there and they should take classes. Yeah. Good for who are living in nearby area. Yes, yes. So if you have any question, you can ask to me. Okay, so I have not any kind of a special question, but yeah, I can ask. Just I want to know about my mistake and uh, and tell me, ma'am, some way, uh, 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 some way that uh, I use in my daily life and I can enhance my uh, English skills because I I can say uh, I can speak a little bit and I can also uh, understand little bit English, not too much. 
but uh, i you know uh, i try to uh, enhance but what happened you know i can't uh, get too much vocab vocabulary and i can't you know uh, 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 learn new vocabulary so how can i enhance my vocabulary because if i know too much vocabulary so i can speak good english you know so tell me how yeah. can i first thing i would say like don't un underestimate yourself you know you are very good speaker but it, you need to do practice every day and for that you can read some books whatever you like to read like newspaper anything you should start to read in english because whenever you read you get familiar with new words so whenever you are facing difficulty and you don't know the meaning of that word you can uh, search on google and after that you can uh, try to frame in sentences in this way you can learn vocabulary uh, more and more and for the speaking practice you can talk with your friends you are going in offline classes so you can talk with them or otherwise you can take help of any kind of application there are many application available on play store like preply.com cambly high local also you can use that is free of uh, free of cost you can use that for speaking and writing also writing also very important part so before go to bed you should write your daily routine whatever you did since morning to till night you should write in english because whenever we write something in english we pressurize our mind so in this way we can get from, uh, we can get habitual to think in english because if we are thinking in english it's very important part to become very fluent in english so you should write and you should uh, you should listen also because if you're not good listener you can't be good speaker so you can listen yeah. any podcast any songs that will help you a lot and every day you should try to learn at least three phrases or three vocabulary if you are learning uh, three vocabs or phrases so in this way you will learn at least 90 vocabs or phrases in a month don't pressurize your mind like i will learn today 50 or 100 phrases or vocabs just make a schedule like uh, you will learn only three vocabs or phrases in a day in this way we, you can learn uh, at least 100 yeah. or 90 and if you are doing uh, this kind of thing for 5 or 6 months so you can learn 60 sorry 600 phrases and that's enough for speaking oh, yeah. okay i will try to use that method uh, actually yeah. I, you know i try to uh, learn some vocabulary like one and two i try to in, uh, yeah, include uh, uh, in my daily life uh, new things means new vocabulary like for example i make plan a uh, plan Uh, i have to i uh, today i have to may uh, add one and two vocabulary new vocabulary and in my daily life okay but i did and and after that i forget you know sometimes some days i forget like it's so whenever you learn whenever you learn new vocabulary try to make sentence at least three or four sentence with that vocabulary and whenever you have conversation with people you should try to use that vocabulary in this way you can learn for long time and whenever you are going to learn another vocabulary first revise whatever you learned before because if you are not revising it will be not good for you and you will forget so revision is necessary because i am also doing okay. same thing yeah okay i'm okay yeah thank you so much and uh, yeah now you have any kind of question you can ask actually uh now my mind is blank nothing is coming uh -huh. in my mind uh -huh. <laughs> so why <wide. laughs> so sorry for that okay it's i uh, know it's okay no no problem okay yeah so, so i was saying like i started to learn this language uh since 3 month 3 month yeah when so you are speaking uh, you you are speaking nicely <laughs> yeah because i'm doing practice every day i'm spending 6 to 7 hours uh -huh. to learn this language as i told you i am spending time for reading listening and writing speaking that's why maybe it's all about your hard work and that's why you are uh -huh. able to speak english you know good english even so that is great okay so tell me something about your future plan means what 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 you become what you want to become in your life to become teacher english teacher English so teacher, that's okay. why i am working my english because if i'm good in english so i can teach others and before teach someone i have to learn so now i'm learning yeah. and i'm fluent in english so i can teach others also yeah of course of course so which class are you going are you going to plan for teaching means a, a high school or you know there is a primary so no, i will college. i will teach online from youtube Oh, online. Okay, Miss, so you are uh, you are trying to become a freelancer. You know, we 